Why did the Avro Vulcan bomber use a V-shaped wing? The Avro Vulcan was among Britain's most unique military aircraft and looked a lot more like the modern B-2 Spirit bomber than anything else of its time period. First taking to the skies in 1952, the jet-powered bomber would go on to serve in the Royal Air Force for nearly 30 years, being retired only in 1984. Of the United Kingdom's three V bombers, which were so designated as part of the nation's V fours, which delivered nuclear payloads, the Vulcan was by far the most technologically developed. In total, 136 Vulcans would be built, all of which would eventually enter service across the Royal Air Force's massive network of air bases and airfields. But what made engineers at Avro go with such an innovative design? The tailless Delta Wing aircraft certainly defied the technological norms of the time and, unsurprisingly, came along with a host of issues. The Origins of the V-Shaped Wing while aircraft with delta-shaped wings are rather common today, in the 1950s, the concept was extremely new, and many considered the design rather risky. A lack of vertical stabilizers placed aircraft in a vulnerable position, specifically in the event of uncontrollable stalls. Nonetheless, the design possesses various potential benefits, many of which the Vulcan would be able to capitalize on. By eliminating vertical stabilizers and a traditional aircraft tail, the jet promised to have significantly reduced drag, which would improve fuel efficiency. Additionally, the extra space in the wings could allow for a significant increase in range, due to extra lift and more room for internal fuel tanks. The Vulcan Requirements this aircraft was expected to serve as the backbone of Britain's nuclear bombing force for years to come, and as a result would need to accomplish a variety of objectives and have certain characteristics. Namely, the aircraft would need to be capable of delivering heavy payloads, but at the same time maintain high average flight speeds. Furthermore, the jet would need to be able to climb to high altitudes, while at the same time having a large flight range. Additionally, the plane would need to be extremely versatile and operate in all conditions and from almost all airfields. With such a hefty list of expectations, it's no surprise that a conventional design wouldn't work for Britain's flagship bomber. Ultimately, Avro's design team, led by renowned aerospace engineer Roy Chadwick, would ultimately decide on the Delta Wing concept for the Vulcan. The Delta Wing concept would continue to be expanded upon over the next 50 years. Today, some of the world's most widely used bombers take advantage of the technology.